I just want to take a look at an example of multiplying two binary numbers. So I'm going to put 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. So that's a binary number. I'm going to put a subscript of 2 for that reason. I'm going to multiply by 1, 1 also in binary form. And be careful when you do this. Make sure everything is aligned. Otherwise, it's easy to make mistakes. Put the X for multiplication. Draw a basic horizontal line. Now as we go through this process. So it's super easy. You take the 1 and you multiply by the 1 that gives you a 1. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times the next 1 is 1. That 1 times the 1 is 1. So it's easy. Remember, this is a binary number. So you can put a 2, for example, as a subscript. Now the next stage, I'm going to switch colors just to add variety. You're going to do this the way you do regular, basically long multiplication. You want to stuff a 0 in here like that. And then continue. Take a look. You're going to do this 1 times the 1. That's going to give you a 1. Then you're going to do 0 times 1, which is 0. Then you're going to do 1 times 1, which is 1. Then you're going to do again 1 times 1, which is another 1. And lastly, you're going to do the last 1 times that 1. So it's going to give you also a 1. So this is all just basic multiplication. Draw a basic line. And now you're going to add these up. So put the plus symbol. And let's review some basic addition facts when you're adding binary numbers in case it's been a while. So for example, 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2 equals, as you can imagine, 1, 0, base 2. So in case it's been a while, think about what this is saying. This is saying the following. If you convert this to decimal or basically base 10, that's like 1 plus 1 has to be equal to 2. This is what you're familiar with. Think about what 1, 0, and base 2 means. It means 2. It means that. It's the ba binary version of 2. Okay? Let me erase that. I don't need that. So when you're adding a 1 and a 1 in binary, you put down the 0. You put this down, and then you carry you carry the 1 to the next column. So write the 0, and you carry the 1 next to the next column. So now let's make use of this. Take a look. Like, for example, 1 and 0, as you can imagine, that's just 1. Okay? 0 and 1 is just 1. That doesn't really change. As you can imagine, for example, now 1 and 0, that would still be equal to 1. That doesn't change. But now you have 1 and 1, according to this rule up here. A 1 in binary plus a 1 in binary means you put the 0 down and you carry a 1 to the next column. So I'm going to put the 0 down here. I'm going to carry a 1 to this column right here. And now I need to add up these three 1s. So let's refresh that. In binary, 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2 equals 1 1 in base 2. And the reason for that is the following. Think about this. This is like saying 1 plus 1 plus 1. That's 3, correct? If you don't believe it, take a look. Take your 1, 1, base 2, and convert it. You will see that it equals the number 3, as it should. So whether you're adding in base 10 or base 2, or whatever the base is, right? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. We just use different symbols to represent that. So back over here in the problem now, look carefully. I have a 1 that I carried, another 1 that's there, another 1 that's there. According to this rule right here of adding up three 1s in binary, this is what you do. This is that rule. This number right there, you write that. And that one right there, to which I'm pointing with the arrow, that is the carry to the next column. So you apply that over here. The one and the one and the one means you put the one down. But then, according to that, there's a carry of one to the next column. And now I have one plus one. So look again back up here. I'm going to make use of this rule right here. Okay? The rule states that. I'm going to write the 0 and carry the 1. So I'm going to put a 0 in this position, and I'm going to carry the 1 to the front all the way. And this number, therefore, represents the product, rather, of the original two numbers in binary form. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.